in education, what we are looking for is to understand the ways in which children understand the world and the ways in which they learn. Uh, and uh, we're also looking for ways in which we can create or recreate environments where, uh, uh, which will be richer or more dense in opportunities for children to question naive understandings of the world and gain a more scientific understanding of physical phenomena or virtual phenomena or engineered phenomena. So constructionism is a way in which they do this. They construct digital artifacts and tinker, play with them and uh, exchange them and talk about them. And that helps them focus on what is important in their behavior. Um, uh, intuitions are naive explanations of phenomena that uh, gradually fade out and we are trying to find environments where we uh, where um, the kids can go through this fading out process uh, a little faster and in a more scientific way uh, so that's what the conference is about and now with digital media where we can design a very large variety and wealth of of detailed uh, objects with which students can focus on ideas that we are interested in, difficult ideas and uh, before uh, inaccessible to them. Uh, there's a lot of ground for more research and for um, understanding, uh, observing kids using these digital media and the ways in which their understanding progresses. The detail in the design is um, a field and an enterprise which has drawn attention for quite a few years now, more than 20 years. But there are new infrastructures that are making um, possible and available and, uh, and, and with no cost um, all these um, media and all these resources to students anytime at their house, in the classroom uh, or on an iPad, on their iPhones. Um, and um, this is changing uh, things quite a lot because you can plan for education and you can organize curricular and teaching methods having this uh, taken for granted that there will be some access at any time with these tools and that changing you, changes your mindset on how to structure um, the curriculum and how to structure the activities of the kids to get them more engaged in schools. You can plan for um, a more coherent and uh, cohesive engagement where tools are used when it's interesting or important to use them. Sometimes in the classroom, sometimes after school hours in clubs and projects, sometimes at home. Um, and this gradual use of the tools um, makes even the time when you have face-to-face uh, -face, uh, teaching with the kids without the tools present, you refer to the tools, you refer to experiences that the kids have had or could have with tools. So it kind of uh, immerses into uh, normal teaching hours without technology uh, also. The teaching profession is a developing profession and in any case uh, much better infrastructure and uh, mechanisms need to be built to support the teacher during their um, uh, professional lifetime uh, about um, education methods and teaching methods and assessment, etc. And within this context, part of what they need to learn is how to take advantage of digital media, but uh, embedded within these new teaching methods. So um, at the moment in Greece, we have um, a mechanism for uh, training teachers for a 96-hour course on the use of digital media in their uh, teaching methods, in their everyday teaching. And this has been spread out at large scale. We're now um, hitting a target of 25%, 30% of the teachers in the country with a view to um, expanding very soon to uh, even larger percentages. So it's in progress. Um, but we also have other kinds of infrastructures, which is the digital school, from the Ministry of Education, uh, and that is being built to address both teachers that have been um, educated, but also teachers that have not yet and are interested to find out. So we have these two layers, the layer of creating a culture around these things and the layer of, of providing support for teachers to actually implement them uh, uh, integrated with their, uh, with their teaching methods uh, in their own um, in their own schedule and their own job. So far, teachers seem to be um, 
quite interested in, in, uh, in uh, learning about how to use technologies for various reasons, one of which is that they genuinely see the need to create connections with their students who live in the internet world, uh, in the connected world, and they need to re-establish a communication channel with their students in order to attract their interest and be able to help them. Um, so th there's, there's a kind of a, um, a growing interest at base on how to use this media. The conference is about uh, new developments in science and technology education. It's a relatively new uh, conference, but um, we have um, very important uh, speakers from the States, from Canada and from Europe, and it's an opportunity to um, create uh, communication and, and joint ventures in uh, trying to find uh, ways of, of making this media more accessible and more fine-tuned to really helping uh, teachers and students uh, change their learning environments and uh, engage in deeper understanding about things that are going on that are changing. Um, as I said, not just the physical world, but also the virtual world and the engineered world, which coexists in the way that new uh, young generations are growing up. So um, I think these uh, initiatives are important and uh, I hope that the conference will continue um, and uh, will generate a nice uh, collaboration, especially with the Canadian team uh, from uh, Quebec, which seems to be very dynamic.